YouTube. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Decades. We're back with Star Citizen, getting ready to put in that work. So, in today's video, um, I did about four hours um, to create this video, and I'm chopped it all the way down to under thirty, under thirty-five minutes, and basically showing you a in the life of a starting out miner or a rookie miner or a broke miner if you will starting off with the cheap stuff so what i'm getting ready to do now is uh, the last video we did our first mining trip with the prospector and we took it down to the refinery and the material is, uh, should be done now so we're going to head over there now to pick up the material and we have to put it in Hercules and we have to go back to Microtech. The, I think it's called TBD or TDD Trade Hi. Center to in, order to, in order to sell this material. Yeah, there it is. So we're good there. I tried to put it in the, uh, the mole and it said no. So what you guys didn't see in this video is me having, <laughs> having to go and claim the cruise, uh, the Hercules and then wait for like 30 minutes for it to arrive here to be able to move over the material. So now we're going to head back up. We're going to jump on. We're going to jump in the ship. And we're going to fly back to Microtech to be able to sell these goods. Um, I need the money in order to buy the med pens, the oxygen pens, and I need to get the new suit. That way we can go in freezing temperatures because Microtech is my hangout at, at the beginning. I like to pretty much try to keep my travel as close to the refinery and the sale point as possible to eliminate bandits and to eliminate the possibilities of me making a mistake and blowing up my ship. So now where are we in the video? Welcome okay. Yeah we're getting Vandora ready to grab the system. Hercules. There we are. Yep, there we go. Perfect. I love my Hercules. Hercules is so awesome. So, so far, my mining setup is the Prospector with the Lancet laser head. I have the Stampede. Um, then I have the filter module, which is passive, which filters out um, the inert material. Yes, that's a huge help. And I forget the other the other module I have one is to inject the, the the blast into the rock to get that initial charge and the other is to make it um, stable so it's working out really well I remember that from the last time it works out really really well there's not too many rocks I can't break with that setup um, I have no intentions on using those the new modules where here okay on the screen here you'll see me adjusting the power I completely eliminate any power going to the the uh, weapons because I never try to fight anybody I just I, I like to outrun them um, you are and it, it works well when I upgrade the engines because I always put the most powerful engine in the ships so I've had to turn and run a couple of times and I was able to get away um, not the first time. This was to the, uh, last year when I was playing. The first time I saw a ship coming after me, man. This thing looks, it looked like Megatron. Freaking Transformers. Like wings started going different directions. And he started shooting me before I could even turn my ship around. That dude had blown me up. So that taught me a lesson. You know, I wanted to get my ships as mobile as possible. And as fast as possible. I need to be able to turn due south and head on out. If you're like, well, that case, won't you just, you know, load up on your guns and fight them? Unfortunately, and this has been, this is the way it's been since I was little. When I try to fight with these, uh, 
type of games where the flight and the screen is moving really, really fast. It gives me a headache. That's cool. That goes all the way back to freaking Galaga or something like that, even though the screen didn't move. But if I w went too fast across the screen, Galactica or Galaga, one of the two, um, it gave me a headache. So, oh, oh, I got to tell you guys this part here. Okay, see these domes right here? That's where you want to park. It's this spot right here. This is like directly at the commons, and it makes it so much faster to be able to sell your goods here at uh, Microtech, a new Babbage. It's, uh, it's the main reason why I chose this as my residence, because this is my favorite place to sell. Usually they buy a lot of what I like to mine, which is everything but inert material. They buy it all pretty much. Um, and there are two different, yeah, they do, they buy it all because there are two different sell spots here at Microtech. Um, the TDD and then they have the trade, there's, there's one more. So there's two spots for you to sell your material at this one location. So it's really, really awesome because you can get rid of all of your all of your material as far as your ores and things like that. Um, yeah. So you want to park. Want to land rather right there so you can see this little pathway. You'll see me running up the pathway in a minute in a second rather. Yep, right here. Makes it easy. Yep, there it is. I think it's the trade division, and I forget the name of it. Trade and development division. That's the name. Okay, yeah, trade development division. TDD. So yeah, the diamonds, laranite, tungsten. You can sell it all right here. You I you make a little bit less money. Again, check the website that I've um, referenced in the description now, guys. And you'll be able to see who will buy uh, what. Like, for instance, I'm on the website right now as I'm typing in tungsten, for instance. Um, raw is $2.05 and refined, it doubles almost. It's $4.06. And the locations, let's see... For tungsten, let's say trade and tungsten. So, uh, yeah, so you can tell where to sell it. If you, you go to the website that I have in the description and you click on the trade tab and you click on the material that you want. Is at the top bar you click on tongue for me I just type um, clicked on tungsten go down to buy at sell at and it'll give you the prices welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system Selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered to you. There she is. Good old prospector. I make a lot of money with this bad boy. Now, this is only temporary because I plan on purchasing the Orion during Fleet Week. 
and from what I understand, once I purchase the Orion, I'll be given the mole as a loner until the Orion comes out. It's because I was going to buy the mole. And I'm like, mm, why, why, why buy the mole? Because I, I bought it once and I got rid of it because it's such an inconvenience compared to the prospector. But it has its place because it, it holds so much more. I think it's like three times the amount, if not more than the prospector so it's just inconvenient when you have to fly the ship position the ship leave the flying deck go down to the other parts of the ship get onto the mining lasers and then when the rocks crack if they fly too far away out of the articulation of the arm you have to then go back up to the pilot seat move the ship around get it re <laughs> get it realigned and go back down to the mining arm so but it's worth it when you have when you're out mining and you're not you're mining um quantanium because quantanium you don't have that long row you i only use the prospect to mine quantanium because once you once you get quantanium in the ship yeah, this countdown is on or it's going to blow up. money shot here I like this and this game amazes me Okay, so we filled up the ship. Now we're going to go ahead and set some work orders in place. But I want to show you guys how, like, I if it's not inert material, I refine everything. Because the price almost doubles. Look, If you look on the screen here, I put the website at the very top. Look at the gold. It's 320 raw, 641 refined. And you may be saying, oh man, you know, Quantanium is like $80 a, well, again, once you make a certain amount of money in the game, it doesn't really matter anyway, because you've purchased everything that you want, then you have, I mean, I, I got up to like 70 million bucks, you know, 70 million UEC or whatever it's called, so it really didn't matter how much money I had, um, how much money each one of the uh, materials was worth, once you have everything you want, right? Um, real quick on the screen now what you guys are watching uh, I'm buying that suit that I need that goes to the negative 75 degrees and all the way up to 225 so this one is made for the heat there's another one that goes to like negative 200 degrees or something like that for the super super cold I think that's what this one's for the heat and the other ones for the cold I don't have the other one yet obviously um, but anyway I if it's not inert i mine everything my rule of thumb is if inert is more than 50 percent of the rock i move on but if it's not more than 50 percent of the rock i mine it and i filter out the best that i can to get as much of the good stuff as i can this is sound noise
Alright guys, so we can ready to wrap up the video. Um, we made two mining trips. And now we're getting ready to go up here and start the remaining job. Which is going to make for a decent little payday. It should be, uh, probably be about 100000 with both of these jobs. Hi. Now tomorrow, well the next episode, we're going right? to go Quantanium mining with the prospector. But I'll be doing that in space. Um, or maybe, no, I, I can do it on, on the planet. It's just, I have to watch which planet I go to because some of those planets have really bad wind. And um, before last year, uh, when I had the mole, I was mining and the wind was blowing. And again, with the mole, if you're doing it solo, you're mining by yourself. So you don't have any ability to maneuver the ship, <laughs> right? You have to leave the cockpit in order to go and mine with one of the arms. Anyway, the wind was blowing like crazy. I ended up blowing up my ship because it fell down to the ground. So that wasn't pleasant. And then I've had to walk away from a from rocks before with the prospector because it was so windy. Even with the upgraded engine, I couldn't keep the freaking um, ship stable. I was all over the place because it was so windy on, on the planet. So I just have to you know watch out which planet I go to because some planets have pretty much no wind. Other ones have ridiculous wind. So. But that's what we'll do. We'll go quantanium mining. We'll make two trips quantanium mining and see if we can fill up the ship with quantanium. Um, if we get a big enough rock, that'd be awesome. Because you basically can only do one rock. You can't do two unless you find a cluster. Because once you break up the rock completely and then you know you, you break it all to pieces, you get everything broken up, and then you collect every piece of quantanium you can, that countdown is on. You really, truly don't have enough time to go to another rock, break it all up, and collect more quantanium. At least I don't. Because every time I go quantanium mining, by the time I put the quantanium in the ship and get back to the refinery, you know, it's already counting down. You know, that, that beeping is getting more and more um, repetitive. Uh, uh, the frequency it's faster so you know it's getting ready to blow up and I've had a ship blow up on me like I landed the ship got out of the ship and was running away from the ship and it blew up <laughs> and I died <laughs> I was so close wow that was one of my better episodes last year I had a couple hundred thousand views on that one that was pretty awesome anyway um, but yeah so that's it guys I just want want you guys to see um, what's it what it's like starting from the you know, starting from the bottom right and I don't have the all the upgraded power plants the cooler and the other upgraded components in the ship which makes it more stable in my eyes I that's that was my experience back in 3.15 I don't know about 3.17 but um, yeah so we're gonna keep on hustling uh, fleet week is like 10 days from now or a few days from now and I'll be pur purchasing that Orion so that's going to open up the ability to get that mole and uh, we're going to keep growing the mining until we have probably about a million no about two million dollars once we have two million we're going to take the Hercules and we're going to start doing trading because that's that's like the fastest way to make cash you know, is when you when you can fill up something as large as the Hercules, which is like 600 um, CU. You know, the to fill it up, you, you're spending depending on what you're buying, but you could spend, you know, a million and a half, two million, fill, filling it up, and then you just and turn around and sell it for, you know, a six hundred thousand dollar profit. So that's what we're gonna do, guys. All right, it's your boy Decades putting in that work. If you guys have any requests, have any questions, let me know. It's slowly but surely coming back to me. And don't worry, we're going to be doing some exploring. I'm big into exploring, big into making money. That's my thing. All right? You guys make sure you have a positive day, positive energy. Put it out to the universe. Change your mind, change your life. It's your boy, and I'm out.